Well guys and girls, it is Sunday late afternoon and it is time to find out what is in the bag as part of that contest. I feel a little creepy opening this on video, although I have to open it anyway because of course I need to find out who owns this. I'm sure there's going to be an ID in here to get it back to them. So we're going to do a video and um, I'm just not going to let you see real close what the things are. You're not going to get any credit card numbers off this one. But anyway, a couple things first. One, Bird Dog, who is a friend of mine and also the other half of AquaTrigger.com, is running on his YouTube channel right now a contest giving away the uh, an Aqua Trigger well, Chig's Army sticker and a Chig's Army T-shirt, just like I'm doing right now. Uh, same sizes and colors and everything. So if you want to check that out. Head on over and visit Bird Dog. I will put the link to his YouTube channel in the video description of this video. Two. There's a couple things I want to see, but I can't remember now. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, there's also a Facebook fan page called Chig's Army. Now, I didn't set it up. I don't moderate it, but I do go over there occasionally and check it out. Uh, so that's on Facebook, Chig's Army. Feel free to join if you would like. Three, I'm getting a lot of comments and private messages asking me why when I post a video to YouTube, it's showing up as being posted weeks before sometimes and people want to know what's going on. It's so like I explained to you earlier in a video, it's my Patreon account. What I do is I upload batch videos. I have like 10 I did in the last two days I'm getting ready to upload to Patreon and I make it available to those guys over there uh, the sneak peekers as soon as I upload them to YouTube but I keep them private from everyone else until I'm ready because I only like to do one a day that's why you see comments from a week ago on some of the videos that I upload also if you want to talk to me Try to get your comments in or your questions in immediately after I upload a video. I always try to stick around for an hour or two and answer as many questions as I can. And um, that's the best time to catch me. After that, the comments get buried. Now, you can also go to my Patreon account and for as little as a dollar a month, you will have access to me. You can ask me questions over there. I absolutely promise you I will answer the question to the best of my ability that day, if possible. All right, I think I covered everything, bird dog. <laughs> I hope I did anyway. Don't get mad at me if I didn't. What's in the bag? Contest rules. If you get something right, you get a point. If you get something wrong, you lose a point. If you guess iPhone, well, if you guess phone, that's one point. iPhone, two points. Yellow iPhone, three points if it's yellow. Uh, and you also take away the points the same way. I will try to pick the winner as best I can. If you think you are the winner and have accrued the most points, please put that in the comments of this video below for the number of points you have and when you posted the comment, what day and time, and I will double check it. If for some reason I cannot figure it out, I'm going to pick a random winner, just like I said in the other video. That will happen in 24 hours. In 24 hours, I will post a winner of this contest in the video description of this video. I'm not going to make another video. It will just be in the description. You can go back and read about it. Are you ready? What's in the bag? Well, let's start. I hope there's nothing alive. Oh, one other thing. The reason I did not do this earlier or open it early and try to get it back to the person who lost it is because I was going away on a seven-day camping trip the day after I found this thing. So I didn't want to get into the hassle of trying to get this back to the person for a week while I'm maybe off camping on a river somewhere in the northeast. So I did not open it. I put it in my refrigerator in case it's full of Helgramites so that they may still be alive. That's why I did not open it sooner. And I apologize to the owner for not opening this sooner. Uh, but that's what happened. Okay, you ready? Here comes the zipper. It is kind of like skeevy, I know, but... Alright. Lots of stuff. First things first! There is... An iPhone! 
surprise, surprise. Uh, it's in the otter case, so if you guess otter case iPhone, that's two. I have no idea what model that is. Do you? I have two cameras going right now, by the way, um, just in case one doesn't work. So, yeah, one iPhone. No, I hate doing this, gosh. One set of car keys to a Honda. So if you guess car keys, Honda, that's two. We have a Discover card that appears not to have been activated yet. Has a flower on it if you guess a flower on a Discover card. We have Forever Stamps. Did anyone get that? Those are the big boats on the river down there. Okay. We have these things, which I assume are some type of earbuds. No idea what kind. We have, I guess that's mascara. All right. Well, I guess, <laughs> I hope that's lipstick. All right. So at least we know the name of the person. Oh, here's our driver's license. No, there's another Visa card. It's blue. It does have a name on it. So we've got two Visa cards and no driver's license. Not a one. Okay, and that's it. That's all that's in the bag. It's empty. I'm really surprised it's not a driver's license. Well, I can get the information through Visa to get it back to him or her. Hopefully, at least I can tell them that I have their card. Okay, so we have the bag, one Visa card, blue, one iPhone, oh, that's a Discover card, sorry if I said Visa before, Discover card with a flower on it, forever stamps, lipstick, I hope, mascara of some sort, these thingies, little earphone thingies, and a set of car keys. That's all she wrote, folks. That was pretty easy. Oh, you're really kind of afraid to look in there. I don't see any secret compartments, and uh, there's no... I can't believe there's not a driver's license in there. That is so weird. Why would someone do that? Yep, that's it. Okay, well, thanks for playing the game, and uh, I hope you won, and if you think you won, Please, comments of this video, go ahead and tell me you want. Tell me the time and the date that you made your post, and I'll check it out. If I can't, we cannot figure it out. 24 hours from now, we will pick a random person. I hope you enjoyed the game. I did. still feel skeevy, but not as bad as I thought it was going to. There's nothing too personal in here. All right. More giveaways if you want them. More giveaways, which of course is more and roar. Combine the two, you get roar. I can't believe people don't know that yet. Where have you been? Under a rock? <laughs> Thanks, guys and gals.